Teen girl killed by jilted stalker. Love jihad accusations rocks India. So, uh, I, I'm, I, sorry, let me fix my pronunciation of this name. An, 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 Ankita Kumari. Sorry about that, guys. My dyslexia was really giving me a hard time there. Uh, Ankita Kumari, a 16-year-old Hindu girl in the Dumka district of Jakarta, was set on fire, allegedly for rejecting a Muslim man's advances. After fighting for her life in a hospital for five days, the girl succumbed to her injuries. The incident has spiraled into a communal affair, which many deem it to be a case of quote-unquote love jihad. After the attack, the victim narrated her ordeal in a viral video. The accused, identified as uh, Shahrukh Hussein and his accomplice, Naeem Khan, have been arrested. An insidious video of the arrest of the murderer, where the accused can be seen casually smiling as he is handcuffed and escorted into the police vehicle, went viral. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad, or VHP, a Hindu right-wing group, issued a statement demanding the death of the Muslim man by hanging. BJP leaders um, Goda MP uh, Nishikant Dubi and Kupal Nishra, Mishra alleged that such is a case of love jihad could only be carried out due to the severe negligence and appeasement politics of the cu current ruling state government. So, um, apologies for me butchering all these names. Um, let me back up and like kind of tell the broader story. So there is this girl and there's been different reports on her age. I've seen some age reported as young as 15, some as old as 19. I think she might actually be 16. Um, she was being approached by this guy who is 23 years old, who his name is Shah Rukh, um, and Shah Rukh Hussein. And he was bothering her and harassing her. And then when she rejected him, he started threatening her. And this girl went to her dad and she was like, hey, this guy's threatening me because I rejected him. And one report I read, she said that she rejected him because he's from a different cast. I don't know. That was just one report. Um, and then the dad was like, okay, like I'm going to go talk to his family tomorrow and we'll get this sorted out. That same night, she was sleeping in her bed and this guy comes up to the window of her bedroom and pours gasoline like all over her. And she wakes up because she feels something like wet on her and she starts to get up. And then he throws in a match and sets her on fire. And she comes running out of the room screaming for help, all this stuff. She gets taken to a hospital. And then they, she gets transferred to another hospital. Reportedly, she had burns on 95% of her body. And unfortunately, she died five days later. And this has exploded into... Th this has received a ton of media attention in India. Um, and unfortunately, it's been heavily communalized. It's been heavily politicized because the person that did this to her is from the Muslim community. He's a Muslim. And she's a Hindu. So now this is being held up as an example of love jihad. Like this is proof of love jihad. For those of you not aware, love jihad is this like right-wing conspiracy theory that Muslim men in India are purposefully um, going out and uh, dis uh, dishonestly dating Hindu girls under the guise of being Hindu. And then when they get married, it becomes revealed that actually they're Muslim. And then they have to force the Hindu woman that they just married to convert to being Muslim because, well, that's Sharia. You ha you can't marry a polytheist. And then this is how... This is the clear Susanna is not... Because I don't want this part to be clipped out or stuff like Susanna is not claiming this is love jihad. Susanna for now is just claiming what other people are saying. And then after that, we're going to talk about what we think. Okay, But this is not Susanna's words. Okay. This is like other people think. But go on. Yeah. And then so the broader thing at play here in this conspiracy theory is that this is how 
India's Hindu majority will be subjugated and coming a minority because then all the children that are had through these marriages will be Muslim and they're going to change the demographics and this is how they're going to take power, this kind of thing. And um, so, yeah, now this has become, you know, politicized and really it basically is like not even about the girl anymore. It's not about her suffering. It's not about the threat that she was under. It's not about her safety or really what happened to her. Now it's just about holding up the fact that the perpetrator came from this community. Look, this is proof that this is what this community does. This is proof that they target Hindu girls, that, they, that they're a threat, like that kind of thing. Imagine what do you your think, Armin? Imagine your daughter just opening the door to her bedroom, coming into the living room on fire, begging you for help. And then after being burned all over her body, watching your own daughter, like imagine your, your, the love of your life just coming and saying, daddy, help. And then after that, watching her for five days in absolute agony for her, for, for this to be the last moments of her life, for this to be your last memory with her. There, and there's nothing you can do to fix it. Fuck. And it real bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, it's so horrific. Yeah, I can't think of a worse nightmare. God damn it, man. Um, so there's there's nothing we know about what the motivation was. Like people are saying, was it was it because he's a Muslim? Was it because of the caste system? Like we don't know. Like I don't think like we anybody knows anybody anybody who's like coming up and saying like oh this is love jihad, like you're like you're a monster. Like this is like you're looking at a burned girl and you're just trying to f see how you could use this for your agenda, right? This is what's happening. I think like maybe I don't know. Maybe this is what's happening. Maybe people are like people. People are saying oh love jihad, love jihad. There are people who are pretending to care about this girl, but it's just like, how could we use this to start more hatred in the country? I think that's what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, how is this even, how could this even be love jihad? Didn't she know he was a Muslim? Yeah. Well, the idea okay. would be that he was going to force her to convert. But usually love jihad is, yeah. there is a falsification exactly like there's it's supposed yeah. to be a falsification of yeah love jihad is when you don't know when you don't love jihad is when you don't know the guy's a muslim like the claim is okay that you like oh surprise i'm muslim but now we're married and now you're and now all our kids are going to be muslim okay so that's what that so-called love jihad is okay but she like this guy was apparently a non-muslim so this doesn't even fit with the love jihad conspiracy theory so yeah. i don't know what this is. i think there's um, to be not fair isn't the right term, but to be transparent, there are like many different kind of iterations right, of okay. the Love Jihad conspiracy theory. So I put forward the one that is most um, popularized that I'm familiar with, but yeah. maybe they construe it in terms of Love Jihad, basically in the sense that this guy is a Muslim and he not Love Jihad in terms of a larger conspiracy towards demographic engineering which is where so many of these claims about these like kind of incidents but fall even apart. then even then the but point like, of love they basically are just calling him a jihadi for what he did to her for right. the sake of love this might sense. be this might be more of an insult thing than an islam thing it might be i don't know right that's what like, i think yeah that's what it seems more likely to me like a lot of times that you have to convert to islam part is so that we could get married or something like that. Not because I care about Islam, not because like I'm trying to, you know, convert to India. Like the guy is like an incel. The guy is like um, doing incel stuff. And he's not, he doesn't care about India becoming an Islamic nation. He's just thinking about his own disgusting, you know, self-interest. But Satya, Satya, here, Satya has, has some problems. Satya is saying the girl's father did say that he asked her to convert. Um, yeah. Here's another thing. Here's another possibility, okay? If this might be true. It also might be if I was the father, okay, and I wanted revenge from this, might have, you know, from this person, right? 
I think like maybe if I said, maybe if I could lean in to the whole uh, love jihad conspiracy, I would be able to get a mob on this man. You know what I mean? Like I would do it if I was the father of this girl and I've like, okay, years behind bar or get a mob to maybe lynch this person for the person that did this to my daughter. I am like, oh yeah, sure. He did. He was trying to convert my daughter to his love. Oh my God. If this happened to me, I would lose my mind. Yeah, of course. I would say whatever it takes to get like the people to go after him, like and violently, like attack him. If I, again, I'm not endorsing violence. I'm just saying this would be an irrational thing to do for a person like if i was in that state of mind which i was so emotional i might do something like that again i'm not endorsing this youtube i'm not endorsing violence okay uh but i'm just saying a father that has lost a da uh, daughter might like might lean into this you know so we don't know if this is even true yeah mm -hmm. um yeah so satya agrees the motive of converting india to islamic india is pure bs yeah that's what that's what that's what the main um claim from the love jihad conspiracy theory is love jihad is not just this you know lone wolf hole just be uh, hey let's get married but first please convert to islam thing love jihad conspiracy theory is this mass conspiracy of creating an islamic nation by uh, converting muslim women uh, hindu women to islam and their children one by one that's the conspiracy theory yeah um yeah it um yeah it's, it's just so upsetting on so many different angles what's really interesting oh satya is saying i agree it is very less likely that he's into demographic engineering um d is making a good point she's saying it's love not it's not love it's obsession exactly yeah, i was talking when i said love i was talking about the dad not about the the dude the guy. yeah um oxymoron is saying uh calling out systemic issues in a community is not heartless armin what is he responding yeah, I didn't to say I didn't say it's not a okay you came you, you don't seem to be able to hear what i'm saying i'm not saying it's not a systemic issue i'm not i'm saying it's not love jihad okay i'm saying it's not the love jihad conspiracy is when it is not uh it's fake okay the love jihad conspiracy i'm saying that's fake i'm not saying do not call out a systemic issue okay so there's that yeah um I don't know. I think it's really important to talk about these things in an honest way and also from like a media analysis point of view. Um, because like I said, in so many ways, this story or what happened to this girl has like been taken away from her. It's not even about her and her suffering anymore. Um, and there was a lot of frustration I've saw. So right-wing media sources taking screenshots of left-leaning Indian media sources and basically pointing out that they would never in the headline say that it was a Muslim man that did this as mm. something that's like disingenuous. What do you think about that? Like, should they be putting the names of the, the, the communities that these people come from in the headlines? Is it, is it, you know, is it no, taping I, for Islamism if you don't do that? Like, we didn't do that in this title, but it's mainly because of, like, a character limit when I have to pick the titles. Wait, there was somebody in the live chat that said the same thing. Uh, Higgs was saying, and the, and the liberal media tried to change his name. Did they try? Okay, so as, if they didn't call him a Muslim, I think that's fair. Unless, unless they could find an actual connection to him being a Muslim. I don't think it makes sense for them to you say mean in like, terms oh, of motivation yeah motivation right if, if the motivate if they cannot show that the motivation has anything to do with islam i don't think the media should run with like oh it was a muslim guy it was a muslim guy but but if they could find the connection then i think they should okay mm -hmm. so i'm not saying 100 no, yeah then they should like if they find the connection and then don't they don't mention that this guy is a muslim then that's irresponsible okay but Higgs Boson is saying that they went as far as changing his name. Is that true? Because that is irresponsible if they did that. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I would uh, I would have to I see that for myself because I haven't seen I don't that. think that I wouldn't believe that's hard to believe. If so, that is just beyond the pale. That is beyond the pale. Yeah, so Higgs Boson is saying one liberal media changed his name to a Hindu name. Okay, that I don't know. I, I cannot I don't know if that's true. Okay, but if that's true, that is insane. Yeah. um okay such as saying no if criminal is hindu or upper caste then they always use the group's identity they shouldn't okay if you it's like this in america 
Like, mm. no one cares about the police and stuff until it's a black person that was shot, and then they put the race of the officer and the police in the in the victim in every single headline. Otherwise, they never do that. But we're consistent here, okay? If the person's Hinduism has nothing to do with the crime, then they shouldn't mention that he's a Hindu because it would be irrelevant, okay? If it's relevant, mention it. If it's irrelevant, don't mention it. It's that easy. So Satya is also confirming that India Today did that. Okay, that is it. Isn't India Today more right-leaning? Yeah, I thought so. But, but we don't know anymore. You know, like people, that doesn't tell you much. Like because people people in India, like B, apparently the BJP is too left-leaning for Hindutva these days. So we don't yeah, know. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, too left leaning or just too fucking impotent <laughs> yeah um all right oh the next one is india too yes oh is Brett, this... rebecca is saying such a nice thing about me she's saying Susanna worked so hard to find this news for us thank you Susanna. uh well i oh. also owe d some credit as well d, d has yes. been helping me so much with the news lately so Thank you, D. All the love and appreciation to D, of course. Yes. Um, yeah, D is also saying calling it love jihad kind of makes his identity obvious. With, yeah, I mean, but only if you're familiar with what that is. If you put that in there, people who are familiar will automatically know like what the pieces are. Um, okay. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.